And police believe a driver hit two children while they rode their bikes less than a mile apart, all in a span of about 15 minutes. In both cases, they say the driver took off. The first child was hit on Friday at around 730 in St. Clair Shores, then another just minutes later. And 7 Action News reporter Simon Chiquette spoke to the parents as police now search for the drivers. The mother of a 16 year old hit and run victim says she feared the worst after he was struck right here in this area. And now she's speaking out, hoping that that person is arrested soon. Really scary. Yeah, like we were we were pretty shooken up like I as soon as uh, my husband got the phone call. Jessica Everidge says her 16 year old son Jeremiah is still in pain with bumps and bruises from riding his bike and being hit by a driver who never stopped. Witnesses say it happened Friday at about 730 PM on Martin near Harper and the person driving was behind the wheel of a blue colored Chevy SUV. At least make sure they're they're, they're OK because you know accidents are going to happen. You're not going to be able to avoid an accident, you know, so if it happens, it happens. You know, you stop afterwards, you check, you see if they're okay. Police confirm a report being taken, and we've also learned a 10-year-old girl riding her bicycle near Martin and Little Mac just 15 minutes later was also hit and thrown down to the ground. Again, the driver kept going without ever stopping to see if the girl was okay. Thankfully, she sustained only minor injuries. Jessica says whoever's responsible needs to do the right thing and turn themselves in. They literally just drove off like he was a piece of garbage. He's a 16 year old kid. You know, I mean, it could have went a lot worse and it could have killed him. With that driver still at large, if you have any information that could help detectives, contact St. Clair Shores Police right away. From St. Clair Shores, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.